Howdy, y'all. I'm around the wheel. You're watching Chip's Revenge. That's right. He's going to hash it out on the teeth that ate his girlfriend. And today we're starting with 7-Up, presumably named after the number of chips we have to collect. We have to push ice blocks around the maze. Eh, this doesn't look too terribly difficult, but hopefully we don't get any teeth in the way. So let's start with an easy bit, of course. All right. So can I push this on top of a chip? I can. That's in an intriguing. Okay. So I can't just flat out crush the teeth, though. So if I go... Bummer. Okay, as soon as I push a block, that's it. It's, it's curtains. So... Yeah, I have pretty much no choice but to go up to here. Okay. Alright. Um, and then... I don't, dang it, I didn't mean to do that, actually. So, alright. So, we get up here, and then... Go up a little. Okay, that's, that's a pretty good... That's a pretty good little segment right there. Uh, and then we'll push these two aside and then never look at teeth again. Oh, man. Making me afraid of dental hygiene with each passing second. I don't dig it. Run for your life, Chip. You better run for your life if you can, little Chip. That's right. Run Around by Joshua Bone, which... Uh, there is no way that's a real name. Okay, so Run Around. Why you gotta give me the Run Around, huh? Oh, hey. That, oh, <laughs> oh, yikes. Maybe I should start going this way? Okay. Alright, this looks safe so far. Ooh, That is a nasty little... Okay, so... Oh, yeah. All I gotta do is get around a horde of teeth. Boy, that is level design at its finest, let me tell you. Okay, so we have the flippers. Now we just gotta... Okay, it is literally a run around, so... Okay, now all I gotta do is make it to the end of the level, which I think was at the beginning, ironically. <laughs> oh, yep, right there. That that was a that was an odd level. Just throw in a billion teeth and put on some flippers, and boom, you're good to go. That's a level, level after level after level. Watch your step. Uh oh, this is okay. So we have to walk along the turtles and get some of the chips, but also, okay, all right. So let's go. Yeah, we gotta keep it. We gotta keep it tidy with this. Okay, and then so move along this way, and let's go here to here, and then okay, this. Okay, I don't. Well, I don't. I don't have any more buttons to access. I don't think. I, uh oh. Uh, yeah, I have. I've right screwed myself. Uh oh. Okay, so, okay, what's the what's the pattern here, then? Maybe we want to go around and get all the chips first, and then get the bombs last? Okay, don't quite remember how this one goes, I should say. Let's go ahead and, okay, let's go ahead and, okay, now let's hit this. No, I don't think that was a good idea, because I'm going to have to come back later and get these stupid things anyway, so... I've probably made a big giant mess. Uh, yeah, now I can't get to this, and yeah, this is this is big and messy. Okay, there's that, and now I'm stuck on the turtle forever, adrift at sea. Uh oh. Okay, let's really think this one out. Okay, so let's go ahead and all right, let's go ahead and step here and get to this one. That allows us to get around to this. Okay, and then how about to here? And then let's keep it... Alright, let's go around these. Maybe I can make a beeline from the top right to the exit. That seems pretty... That might be safe. I'm actually liking this a lot. Okay, there we go. And I think we get around there and boom, into the exit we go. Had to think about that one a little bit. My brain is getting a little busted. I, I'm feeling a little bit of the bust. Okay, sea turtles. Another sea turtle exercise here. Okay, so, oh, okay. So now I'm going to have to keep it. Okay, so there is a single line... Oh boy, okay. When do I know when to hit the corner and 
when do I... Okay. Alright. Well, let's just go around in, in good time for now. There are a lot of doggone ships in this one, so I think the idea is also to move pretty quickly. So, okay, where do I go from here? I'm gonna go ahead and shave along the top, skim off the top here. And from here... Okay, you kind of have to determine where the corners are yourself. Okay. This isn't so bad. The only thing that would suck would be if I messed up really late in the maze, which is definitely a possibility. I won't say it's not. Okay, we want to get these around here, probably. Oh, this is a sticky little turtle jam here. Looks like I'm getting myself into some turtle soup. Okay, we definitely want to stay along the perimeter there. Oh, man, this is... I gotta turn this down in my ears a little. This is... <laughs> It'll probably be the same volume to you no matter what, but wowee, that's, that's really clanging in my ears. That is a dissonant sound that those chips make when you collect them. That's, that's tough to listen to. Maybe I should just mute the entire thing all together. Alright, we're along the south shore now. And... Hey, I can see the curve here. Very good. Oh yeah, th okay, very nice. This is a, okay. Pretty easy level to sight read, actually. Okay, uh, oh, that's a tricky little bit at the end, though. Boy, I'm glad I stopped a little short there. Yowzer, first try. Oh yeah, baby, okay. Well then, let's move on, shall we? Let's keep on going. The sea turtles were not too bad. Frozen by Ruben Spans. You know, you're really going to have to let it go with that level title. Actually, I think this level... When did Frozen come out? Was it 2014? Got to capitalize on those... Uh, okay, so now we got some pretty bog-standard block pushing here. This is the exciting stuff I know y'all really come here for. This is the... This is it right here. Oh, man. Woohoo! Put your pants back on. Uh, you got you to gotta calm down there. It's going to be... It's going to be all right. Uh, okay. Yeah, we can... Okay, so we have a little maze of chips here. We're gonna figure out. Okay, so let's get down. We gotta go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight blocks a piece. And we have how many to work with here? We have one, two, three, four, five, six, and then 12, 17, 21. 21 things to work with here. Okay, so the, well, let's go. Let's play around in the maze for a second. Well, that one too bad. That was a nice little. That was a nice little. How do you do? Okay, so this is just a little temporary zone to play in. I see. I get it. So now, all right. <laughs> I see. LOL. Okay, so we want to take. We want to take eight blocks. We don't want to move down there till we. Till we're absolutely sure that we've got eight blocks, and we can check our progress down the way. I need three more. Very good. Okay, so three more blocks. Very nice. All right. I hear the telltale whoop. That ought to do it. Could probably do more blocks at a time, but just want to make sure. Okay, so now we can do. Now we can do a couple at a pop. There we go. Let's make a. Let's make another line of two. Very good. And another duet. I think I should have one more left after this. Let's go ahead and push these down. And I'm just going to follow my gut here. I think I counted correctly. I sure did. Okay. So now we need probably... Well, I hope we only need five ice blocks to get through this. Uh, no way really to count, I suppose. Alright. Go ahead. Now you go next. Why don't we just get these... Nice and into position. All right, there we go. Exactly the amount of blocks we needed. That one wasn't too bad. I like the game. I like how the puzzles are easy to just kind of feel your way through. Like, these are challenging and probably not, 
They might be a little overwhelming to someone who hasn't played the first Chips Challenge game, but I really do like how you can just kind of feel your way through them and have a reasonably good chance of doing pretty well. No Turning Back by Joshua Bone, another single screener. Okay, so how do we want to do this? We want to go, looks like we want to go in kind of an X maybe. So let's, let's go through here. All right, and cut our way around. All right. All right. That's pretty good so far. And do we have a way in from the, it would not appear as though we do. Although I think I got it mostly right, but I screwed up at the end here, like, got pretty close, but, okay, the recessed one, okay, so maybe I want to go, alright, let's go, let's do it mostly the way we did it before, but this time I see a path along the top that might be, well, no, oh, dang it, okay, no, okay, I didn't think super all the way through, so what I want to, well, Okay. Okay, this guy is making it tough. There's a little gap right here that makes it so I can't really go, like, around. So, but maybe I can. Um, let's go ahead and... Actually, okay, let's go along the bottom first. So I can cut through here. And then along the top. And then... Uh, okay, I'm getting really close on this one. But that's not exactly quite it. Dang it! Okay, I'm very close though. I'm getting a little closer each time. So, how do we want to do this then? Let's go ahead and... It looks like we might be able to go ahead and get all of these okay let's go ahead and no yeah okay let's get these okay yeah get all of them at the beginning here then go no that's exactly what i was trying to avoid earlier i was going up the oh my god what am i doing wrong here this shouldn't be that difficult like yeah, I should not be having this much trouble. So it's kind of a, it's kind of an X, but not really. Like, so like if I go all the way up, like if I were to go all the way up the side here, like, okay, and then I cut. Hmm. So go up here, but then there's no way. So at the end here, I end up kind of cutting myself off where it's like yeah I don't give myself any leeway at the end what is the path Ugh! Okay, here we go. It looks like this is it. Okay, yeah, so just avoid getting one. And then you can go in finished. Good work. Aw, oh, that's just patronizing game. That doesn't that's not very nice. You could you could give me a little better little better encouragement than that. Melinda pushes Chip aside. Hey, let me play a level. I want the next lesson. Alright, fine, yeah. Chip has gotten Chip has gotten his share of the level so far. It's time to let Melinda have some fun. This is Melinda. Being female, she does some things differently than Chip. <laughs> yep, men and women, right? Women be getting chips differently than men do. She doesn't slide when she steps on ice because she's already, I guess she's got the boots built in, but she needs hiking boots to walk on dirt or gravel because dirt shall taint her dainty woman feet. And we would not want that now, would we? Okay, well, yes, they are... They are separate. They looks like they have different abilities based on. Okay, so now, yeah, that's a uh, that's a little uh, that's a little uh, okay. All right, sure. One of these blue walls is a fake. Push on them to find out which one it is. So we still have blue. Wow, that was that was quick. Okay, well, 
Melinda is really good at finding fake walls. How about glue? What do green walls mean, though? One of these green walls will pop down while you are standing on it. Try stepping on them to find it. Same one? No, nope, a slightly different one. Okay, here we go. So some green walls, green walls just pop down under your feet and then pop back up. So you gotta really keep track of where you're going. This room has invisible walls in it that appear when you bump into them. Nope. Oh, well, that was pretty simple. All right. There are invisible walls in this room that disappear again after you bump into them. Oh, that's really nice. Okay. There we go. Wow, that was... Boy, they're making this uh, pretty easy on me. I haven't really... I don't think I've bumped into them to the degree that they wanted me to. Blue teleports are linked to other blue telements. Tel... <laughs> teleports. They are linked in a predictable order. See if you can learn the rule. Okay. All right, I come out this way. I think you pretty much generally... Yeah. This isn't going to be too hard right now. It's going to take me out in the direction that I enter it in. Like a normal, you know, Chips Challenge teleporter. Not too bad. Okay. The red teleports are also linked to each other. Other red teleports. I am great at reading. I am definitely literate. Who said I'm not? But with a different rule than the blue teleports. Okay. So what's, what's their rule? Still looks like you. I mean, it looks like they just kind of take you in a different order. You still go in one, so they're linked a different way. Is all. It's, it's not that big a deal. Okay, whatever. It's fine. It's just reds are linked to reds, blues are linked to blues. Now, what's the green teleport? Send you to a random green teleporter in a random direction. Oh, cool. We've got RNG now. That's that's lovely. Hopefully, it doesn't. Yeah. Okay. This is definitely going to be great. Well, that could have gone far worse, all things considered. Now I just have to wait for it to let me out of here, I guess. Okay, yeah. Now I'm up to the whim of the teleporter. That's that's absolutely wonderful. The orange buttons control the flame jets. Move the dirt block around to hold the buttons down while you pick up chips. I am... Okay, notice that the button under this dirt block works differently from the others. Okay, so what is the difference there? Is, is it that, okay, yeah, when this one is being held down, it's on. Some are, some turn off when they're, okay, so it could be an on-off type situation. It could default to on or off. You just have to pay attention. Melinda can wear flippers just like a man. You can use them right, you can drop the rightmost tool from the hand toolbox by pressing the X key or whatever you have it set to. Uh, pressing the Z key will rearrange the tools in your toolbox, like so. Very nice. Flipping through our knapsack there, but we want to draw... Okay, so which one will drop the rightmost tool by pressing X? Okay, so got to unload the flippers. These steel walls are indestructible. Other walls can be destroyed by a time bomb. Okay, very cool. All right, and we've had our hiking boots taken away, so hopefully no dirt comes around to stop us pick up this time bomb and drop it on the red arrow then back away at least three squares and wait for it to explode all right we've got timed detonation devices okay two one and kelly kapowski there we go all right hey it even blew up the thief <laughs> we are man we're ruthless wow don't step in the green slime push this dirt block over it to clear a path through it that's a nice little Windows 3.1 texture for you there. Enough to make a person a step. Yowzer first try. So that's the Melinda side of things. Let's go ahead and uh, maybe the next level we play will let us be Melinda for just a second. Nope, it's just another chip level. Mel Melinda is fine with playing one level. But we're going to go ahead and we're going to stop here. Hopefully we'll get to play as Melinda more in the future. Uh, with all her, uh, you know, crazy woman differences. And then I'll see you guys next time when we will start with Cobbler by George C. Scott.